clear. It's, there is a lot of clearing off to the west as we look at some of the other cameras here, and you can kind of see that on the horizon. But yeah, we're going to have a, a sunny day and temperatures into the 30s, as Aaron just mentioned, mid 30s. All right. Well, Julie, you're on with Nature at the Confluence. Joins us in the studio. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Two weeks to Christmas. You feeling good? Feeling excellent. Yes. Prepared. Um, yeah, I've got most of my Christmas shopping done, but also we got our holiday tree lighting out of mm -hmm. the way at Nature at the Confluence. That was on December 1st. Mm -hmm. We had over 150 people come through to see the tree be lit. And that you was, had some snow too, that I was, think. That was like, I think, I think that was our snowfall for the yeah. month so far, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it was excellent timing. It made for a magical winter moment. We pulled out our sleds and kids went down the hill and roasted their marshmallows. Um, we have a collection of sleds that whenever it's snowy, we just set outside the building so folks can come and sled down the hill. Now hold it. I, I, oh, look at there. Where's that hill? I mean, you don't have, I mean, you're kind of on a flat piece of... That is me going down our hill for, you know, size reference. <laughs> okay. That's the whole hill. It's okay. Not, <laughs> okay. okay. It's not a huge hill, but it is it's a hill. It's for the little kids getting into sledding yes. the first time. Okay. Honestly, it is perfect for kids maybe six and under who don't yeah. want a super crowded space where they, it's more likely to crash. Sure. Um, but yeah, we have... Between our building and our prairie is a small hill. Okay. Um, it is man-made, but it's great for sledding, or kids like to roll down as well. Okay, there, we go. there you Easy go. Easy to climb back up. Yeah, that's true. It's a not not nearly as long or a hard a journey on the way back up. But uh, so that's open whenever there's snow on the ground. You'll throw a few sleds out there, and people can go at it, or they can bring their own, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. And if there's not snow on the ground, folks are also welcome to just come and take a hike or walk their dog. Or anytime. roll down the hill. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look out the window of your office and just see, see so people rolling down. So what was that last year uh, picture of? Uh, do you, when, yes, okay. that was last winter. Okay, all right, when we actually had snow a little bit. Say it wouldn't be this winter. Yeah, not so far. <laughs> there it is. Okay. All right, looks like you're having fun. Who, who, who's your... That is Ken Forbeck, who was our intern a few summers back. Interns He's from do this, Interns do this, get, have to do the strangest things, don't they? All right. <laughs> Julie says, intern, you're coming sledding with me, right? <laughs> and you, in turn, are going to take the picture. <laughs> All right, uh, we are getting close to winter solstice, the time of the year when we actually, we're still in fall, technically, aren't mm -hmm. we here for the next, what, 10, 11 days? So what, what you have, you have an event for winter solstice, but uh, it, it went quick, huh? Yes, this event did sell out and it's limited in tickets because it will be mostly in our indoor space, which is limited in space. Mm -hmm. um, and the event will include yoga as well as a sound bath, a meditation on the seasons. Um, you know, it's a wonderful thing to celebrate that we're now get, at the solstice getting longer days, mm -hmm. more sunlight. We've True. made it through the darkest time. <laughs> Um, and there'll also be candle pouring and snacks um, and a Yule log. So the event is sold out, but if you'd like to get on the wait list, please contact the Nature Center uh, because there typically is some changes at the last minute. Um, and it's $20 a person for this two hour experience. And I'm really looking forward to it. So candle pouring. I'm intrigued. Yeah. That could be a good gift idea. There you go. And it Can't is what the 21st, which is a week from this upcoming Thursday. So, and, uh, Contact them, natureattheconfluence.org, to get on their wait list. Dot com. Dot com, I'm sorry, dot yes. com. We'll have that up there in a moment. And uh, you're starting a, uh, a, a new year with a new addition to activities at natureattheconfluence.com. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this will be a monthly series called Bird Club. Um, and the idea is that we'll go out no matter what season of year, what the weather is, the birds are always around. They're most active in the morning, so this is scheduled for sunrise. The time will change each month. Mm. Um, so this first one will be January 5th. It's a Friday morning starting at 7.30. I've got binoculars, and we will go out and simply practice observing, noticing the small things. Um, our eagles that live on our property they stay here year round, mm. so there's a chance to see those. Um, I'll also provide complimentary coffee. So it's a great way to end the work week and start the day. That's cool, and I bet you guys have a big variety. I mean, just eagles would be great to see too, but I'm sure there's a lot of different species. Out what there. hangs around during the winter? 
Uh, well, you've got your cardinals, chickadees, uh, lots of small birds like that. Okay, all yeah. right. As well as the big old eagles hanging out there, just yes, and them. owls as well. If owls, we're lucky. true. Good point. Yeah. So it, it, this will be every once a month then at uh, various times and days throughout the course of 2024, huh? Yes, it's planned for the first Friday morning of each month. Okay. So we'll start on January 5th. Um, and I hope some folks want to join me in seeing the sunrise and saying good morning to the birds. Yeah, good way to start the day. Yeah, early bird gets a See cup of coffee. Eagle. For you, for <laughs> yeah. coffee too. <laughs> right. And what else? You got uh, nature fam nat uh, family nature day? Yes. Any words you want yeah, to throw in? Whatever order I put them in, huh? <laughs> yes. This will be on a Saturday afternoon in January. We invite families to come in and cozy up in our nice warm building. We've got toys that are always around for kids to play with, but we will also be bringing in extra nature games, coloring oh. sheets, so that uh, families could bring children of any ages and just hang out. Um, do something new. If the weather's nice, of course, they can go on a walk. And then at 2 p.m., we will have a trivia game with nature Ooh. fun facts, and families can play to win prizes. So that uh, is on January 13th from 1 to 3 p.m. Folks can come and go, and it's $15 per family, no matter how many individuals are coming. That gets to the point in the season where you start to get a little stir crazy. Yeah. So this is a good way to get the family out of the house. I like it. Can you bring your own games or? Uh, sure, okay. that would be an awesome addition, especially if folks want to share their games with other families. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So yeah, I can should flex my monopoly muscles here. I have a Shrek Two Monopoly board. Oh, Shrek Two. It's themed. Okay. I, 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 Maybe I'll bring that out. All right. So yeah, you're ready for winter. You got a family game day and. Uh, you got the bird club starting next year, and of course, sledding when when the, the weather obliges, huh? Yes, and we also just added yoga classes to mm -hmm. our website, so we have even more events you can check out on our website or our Facebook page. Nature at the Confluence is on Dickup Road uh, in South Beloit, right at the barely in Illinois. It's right there at the uh, edge of the, on the right on the state line and natureattheconfluence.com for a look at uh, more of those uh, activities. And if you want to get on the waiting list for this summer solst or winter solstice rejuvenation, uh, you can do that through that website as well. Well, Merry Christmas, Julie. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. And we'll see you uh, next year, I guess. Hopefully. Yeah, <laughs> we'll be right back.